Let us see the next question. The treasurable rate is 4 percentage. That is the risk free rate of return is 4 percentage. And expected return on the market portfolio is 12 percentage. So RM is 12 percentage. On the basis of CAPM, there are four questions which you are required to answer. I want you to answer the first question, put your answer in the chat box. So we understand that say market risk premium that is beta into RM minus RM. Beta of the market portfolio is 1, RM is 12. So market risk premium is equal to beta into RM minus RM. Beta of the market portfolio is 1, RM is 12, 1 into 12 minus 8, so 12 minus 4. So 8 into 1, that is 8 itself. That is the way the market risk premium is calculated in the A part of the question. B part of the question. What is the required return on an investment with a beta 1.50? So the question says that so you are just required to compute the required rate of return if beta is 1.50. That's very simple. Let an answer along with me. Required rate of return is RF plus beta into Rm minus Rf. What is the risk free rate of return? It's just 4. What is beta 1.5? Rm is 12. Rf is 4. So 4 plus 1.5 into 8. So 4 plus 1.5 into 8, that comes to 12. 12 plus 4 that comes to 16 percentage. That is the way we can compute the required rate of return. C part of the question. If an investment with a beta 0.8 offers an expected return of 9.8 percent, does it have positive NPV? That is a question. Please give answer for this question in the chat box. So let us have understanding of the C part of the question. Wherein the question says that say beta is 0.8. And so what we can do dear students, we can prepare working note number 1. Calculation of required rate of return. It can be computed as Rf plus beta into Rf minus Rf. Risk free rate of return is provided to us in example 4 percentage. What is beta? Beta is 0.8. Return on market portfolio is 12. Risk free rate of return is 4. So 4 plus 0.8 into 8. So 4 plus 6.4. So we understand it is 10.4. This is the way we can compute the required rate of return. The question says that if an investment with beta 0.8 offers an expected return of 9.8 percentage. What does it mean friends? It means that whatever the information which is given to us is the return which you are likely to get that is 9.8 percentage. You can visualize something like this. The question is providing the information that say there is a project for which we have made forecasted cash flow series and for this cash flow series we have made the computation of internal rate of return and this internal rate of return is 9.8 percentage. We can say 9.8 percent is nothing else but a kind of X bar. This is a return which you are anticipating to get from the investment. 
Now the question says that say, does it have positive NPV? You can do a routine working that we do. Alpha is equal to x per minus the required rate of return. Return which you are likely to receive is 9.8. That is this one. Wherein you require the return of 10.4. So difference between both of them is negative 0.6 percentage. So we can write one line answer that since alpha is negative, so NPV would, sorry, yeah, alpha is negative, so NPV would be negative. That is the way we can give the answer. Over here we understand that if at all this cash flow series is discounted at the rate of 10.4 percentage, then in that case it will have negative NPV. Because at 9.8 percent NPV is zero. When you discount at the rate which is more than that, then in that case NPV of the project would be negative. That is the way we can give answer. I request you to write down this answer, then I will dictate a note to you for the answer. So write down with paragraph. We understand that Rf, comma, Rm and beta of investment have been given. Full stop. So we can find. But they required a rate of return as per CAPM. Full stop. Further write down in that. The given expected return. can be termed as mean return that is x bar or IRR of the project. Good stuff. Return further in that. So, we can say that IRR is less than required rate of return. In bracket I am writing 9.8 is less than 10.4. So, project will have negative NPV, full stop. Further write down, If we discount cash flow series at the rate 10.4 percent, which has IRR 9.8 percent, comma. Surely, it will have negative NPV, full stop. This is what we understand. So basically the kind of diagram that we have is like this. On x-axis you take the cost of capital and on y-axis you take the NPV. 
So what happens at say basically the IRR is falling over here. That is in our example, it is 9.8 percentage. Now you discount the cash flow series at the rate of 10.4. Then in that case, surely it will have the negative NPV. You apply the discounting rate which is greater than IRR. That is 10.4 percentage, then it will have negative NPV. This is what we understand. D question, if the market expects a return of 11.2 percentage from stock X, what is its beta? That is a question. I request you to write down answer for this question in the chat box. Now friends, importantly what happens at say over here, this time we are required to understand that say this expected return is required to be understood as a required rate of return. Why? Because we understand that say this is indicating that because over here the question does not provide this information with which we can compute the required rate of return. So we have to understand that say the given information is the required rate of return as per CAPM. So D question answer is very simple to calculate in which we are required to find the required rate of return from the security. We will apply the formula is RF into beta that is RF plus beta into RF minus RF and with that so we will calculate the answer. So answer of the D question, the required rate of return is RF plus beta into RF minus RF. So, required rate of return minus RF is equal to beta into RF minus RF. Next is beta is equal to the required rate of return minus RF divided by RF minus RF. The required rate of return is given to us as 11.2 minus RF is 4 divided by 12 minus 4. So it is 7.2 divided by 8. That comes to 0 0.90. So it is 0 0.90. Please write an answer. 